I think this wetland ecosystem has um, important to importance for the natural systems, like um, nurse. It's a nursery. It's a um, it's a stopover site, and it also has um, and it's a water filter and purifier. Um, it's it it serves so many functions. It has a it, it, an intact natural ecosystem here. We have an, an unlike many other wetlands down south. So one of the really neat things about the Copper River Delta and wetlands, and you know, I think wetlands in general are just amazing places full of life. But the one thing that I think is the one thing I think is really neat about Alaskan wetlands, and specifically, one thing I think is really neat about the Copper River Delta is how people interact with the wetland. Not only is this this wonderful natural ecosystem, but people also use it for recreation as well as for harvesting. They We get our fish from here. We go pick berries from here. People hunt moose. And they have a healthy respect for the type of bounty that's provided by this area. In Cordova, I mean, fishing is it. Um, the whole town's economy is based on fishing. We have the commercial fishery. We also have sport fishing and uh, subsistence fishing as well. Um, the commercial fishery is the, where the, the main part of the money is. We have uh, 450 gill net permits. Um, and I'm not sure how many sane boats are out there. There's another 100 permits. But that's what really brings the, the money into the town. Uh, you know, they're catching out there wild salmon, um, catching and processing and shipping this uh, salmon, you know, all across the world. Another great thing is that we're connected internationally, that this wetland's part of this chain of wetlands starting in South America, moving all the way up the Pacific Flyway to the North Slope. And we're a huge part of that. We're a hemispheric site for um, shorebirds, which means that it's one of the most important places. It's one of the key stopover sites within the hemisphere. We have about 5 million shorebirds stop over here in the spring, thousands of waterfowl. So the connection we have, we're way up here in Alaska, we're connected to the rest of the world. And what we do here affects those places, and what happens in those places affects the, the animals that live here. Here in Cordova, it's actually pretty special because we haven't had a lot of the impacts that have occurred in uh, places in the lower 48 or down in uh, southeastern Alaska. We haven't had much in the way of timber sales up here, not much mining, uh, so the area is actually pretty pristine. We have a lot of people from um, Oregon State University, Loyola, and other places come up here to study this area because it is fairly pristine.